The 13 Steps to Hell Many of the stories we hear of mental illness and those who struggle with insanity come from mental asylums and the way these people were treated. However, there have been mentally insane people who have never stepped foot inside an asylum and, at times, have done things that have had a lasting effect on the world in which we live. One such family lived in Maltby, Washington, and their insane act has continued to haunt hundreds of people who dare to visit their shrine. As their names were never officially documented, many refer to the family as the Maltby family, due to the name of the town and the cemetery on their property. To an outsider looking in, the Maltby family appeared to be a normal family with a mother, father, son, and daughter. However, this family was far from normal, and many considered them to be clinically insane. The family was known for their cruel and unusual treatment of animals, as well as the odd rituals they would conduct with the parts of these animals that they would capture. Their mental illness has gone undiagnosed, but they were very open about their religious practices and each member of the family was incredibly an active Satanist. They decided to build a staircase down into the cemetery, giving them access to the damned. The entire family worked together to complete this staircase, digging deep into the ground until they had completed 13 stairs. It is said that the family began performing their sacrifices and religious ceremonies on this staircase and that by doing so they were able to actually unlock the doorway to hell itself. It is unknown what happened to the members of this family, as they essentially just disappeared. Many speculate that they were able to truly enter hell, and that is what they chose to do. Others say that their insanity finally got the best of them, and they ended up murdering each other during one of their satanic rituals. Others speculate that they eventually moved away from the house and were eventually admitted into a mental asylum, but there is no record that says for sure. Although the cemetery was blocked off from the public and is now on privately owned land, it has not stopped eager adventurers trying to examine the staircase for themselves. There are different rumors and accounts which state that as you step on each of the stairs, something different happens to you. Some say that the first stair reveals to you a light bulb, then the second shows you an image that is so horrifying you will want to refuse to continue. However, it is said that there is something so compelling that you must make your way down to the bottom of the staircase. By the time you reach the second-to-last step, it is said that a velvet chair appears at the base, and you have the option to sit in the chair or to simply step onto the bottom step. Many people believe if you choose to sit in the chair, you have automatically sold your soul to Satan, and you are doomed for all eternity. Although there are different reports of what happens on the way down the staircase, Everyone who has made the journey for themselves have agreed on the same thing. Once you begin the journey, you begin to feel your body getting colder, as though you are outside without the proper attire on a winter day. It starts in your fingers and your toes, and continues until you feel yourself shivering, even on a warm summer's night. In addition to feeling your body temperature change, as you progress down the steps, you begin to feel lightheaded and nauseous. The further down you go, the more nauseous you become. But the most horrifying moment of all is when you reach the bottom step and you get to see a glimpse into hell itself. Although the reports of what people actually see varies from person to person, the effect the sight has on them is very real and often has lasted a lifetime. Some have said that they have seen children running among the flames. 
only there is something so horrifying about the children. It is nearly impossible to keep looking at them. Though all the while your eyes refuse to let you look away. Others have stated that they have seen men and women among the flames, some on fire themselves, others horribly disfigured or in a great deal of pain. Misery is the common theme for all who have described what they have seen, and they state that it is a misery that is far deeper than anything they have been able to see before. A few have stated that they have seen themselves in and among the flames. But again, it was such a horrifying and twisted version of themselves, they nearly fainted as they stood on the step. To those who watched their friends and fellow explorers examine these thirteen steps, the impression the bottom step leaves on their friends is very real. There are reports of people coming back up from the steps being as white as a ghost themselves, and some have been shaking in a cold sweat and unable to speak. One group claimed that once their friend was halfway down the staircase, he disappeared from their view. Although he was very tall and they all had their lights shining on him, many report that once the person reaches the bottom of the staircase and turns around, they look as though they are trying to scream, but no voices come forth. Some drop to their knees and hide their eyes with their hands, evidently trying to block out some terror that they are frozen and unable to get away from. The experience for every individual on that staircase is unique, but it is equally terrifying for each and every person.